We've had a little bit of a visit. <laughs> Apparently we're not allowed to park here tonight. We might have a bit of a different problem this morning. Um, looks like it snowed a little bit last night. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, and welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to a pretty awesome spot on the outskirts of a town called Annecy on the west side of the French Alps. This is where we spent the night last night. Absolute pucker views in the distance and a real kosher spot to boot. We had a nice little fire pit going on, cooked some food outside, company over the way that joined us and just chilled out and had a spot on night. But today, we're on a mission and it's quite a big one. You see Nathan turned up today and he's here with one sole purpose in mind, finding snow. So that's exactly what we're gonna be getting up to today. We've perused the maps and the weather reports and it seems, even though it's mid-March now, that there's still a decent amount of snow in a few resorts. So we're gonna be heading to Teens and up towards Val d'Isere today, but not without a few stop-offs on the way. There's a big old road here that stretches right up into the mountains and there's got rumours of snow on the top. So we're gonna go check that out. And then, all my days, we've got a place to visit that possibly has one of the greatest village names on the planet. And I kid you not, this is not a joke, this is not clickbait. I'm praying we can find the, the actual village sign let me just put it this way. In England, there's a few funky places. There's one called Sparrow Pit. There's one called Cockbridge. And there's Knob End. And there's a few others. So yeah, I'm laying clues. But I'm not going to tell you what this place is called. We'll show you in a little bit. Wow, well this is all a bit cool. I honestly hadn't expected to see snow up here as we were driving up with a blazing sun and I definitely hadn't expected to see a ski resort up here with lifts and such. I don't think it's very big, but wow, what an impressive little spot. The lady we were hanging out with last night had been up here the day before and snowshoeing around and told us there was loads of snow up here, but I didn't expect to see it or this much. I think what we're gonna do as well, grab a quick coffee. We were gonna go Annecy way and then down towards Teens. But I think now we're halfway up the mountain, we may as well take a nice mountain drive and stop off at this infamous village on the way. Oh my days, check this road out. This is mental, just a mountain road. Luckily it's all downhill from where we were, but it's gonna take us an hour to cut through the hillside here to get down to a normal road. Absolutely mental, an hour of this. Left, right, left, right. It's just madness. Switchbacks and views and oh, what a drive. So cool. Beautiful day for it as well, eh? Pure blue skies. Hopefully, it'll be snowing where we go tonight. Oh my days. Wait till we come around the corner. Hopefully you'll get a view of it. Look at the state of the view. This is amazing. And that's where we're heading, to the white bit. Wicked man. Hi Karumba. Look at this little village up in the mountains. This is pretty mad. Looks like it's time for church. Wow, a proper full on Alpine village. Little houses and such around. Look at this thing up here, massive. Don't know what it is. This place must get so cut off in the middle of like heavy winters. Must be mad. It's like something from Hyder <laughs> back in the day. Used to love that program, man. Really did. And now I'm here. Oh, quick pit stop. Found something awesome in some village called E. coli. Well, E. coli, I don't know, but it's got water for free. We're having some. Ooh, maybe not from in there though. Yeah, might boil the heck out of it, just saying. Wow, look at that thing in the sky. I'd say it's a plane, but I'm not entirely sure it is. Ah, oh, so random. Wow. I mean, look, it's like a real weird white striped line. That's random, man. Something entering the atmosphere. I've just seen the first road sign. 
time for the village. I can't believe it. Oh my God. I can't believe it's actually called what it's called. This is insane, dude. Ah, oh, some words just don't translate. Or well, rather shouldn't. Right, let's see if we can find the actual village. Ah, there it is, bro. Pussy. We're going into pussy, man. Oh my days. Both of us, two geezers, entering pussy. Mate, it's innuendo-tastic. It's definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, the greatest place name for a village in the history of the world. Don't tell me it's not. Find me a better one. Yep, there's Cockbridge, there's all of that, there's Knob End, but I've never seen pussy before. The village. Oh, this is amazing. We've got to find it. We've got to get into right into pussy and just say we've been in Pusset on this trip. Don't tell the missus. Uh, the next right onto D213. Signs for Pussy, Bourneval. Oh! <laughs> Even the sat nav's having a go. This is amazing. Oh! <laughs> this is possibly the greatest find that I've ever found on any trip on D213 ever. Uh, I just, 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 days don't get any better than this, bro. We're going into pussy. Oh, and I'm not even protected. Oh, I've got to say it, though. Look at the state of this road coming in. Oh, they don't mess about in France, do they? Proper switchbacks, man. They love it. Ooh, mama. I nearly went off the road then. Damn it. Honestly, some of these go round so much, you almost feel like they're turning back on themselves. I mean, look at the state of the sat nav, mate. Just mental. All oh, my days, I've found what I'm looking for. Just like you two said, still haven't found what you're looking for. I have now, mate. Because today, I found the sign for pussy, mate. A village in the world, in France, in the French Alps, and it's called Pussy. And I know what some of you might be thinking, well, it's a French word and it must translate into something into English. Let me tell you, it translates into chat. Spelt C-H-A-T-T. -T. You know, I don't know whether I'd rather have a bit of pussy or a chat. I don't know, I'd rather have pussy. This is not going well, but how can you not? <laughs> I mean, it's the greatest name for a village in the world. And I think we should go have a look and get right inside it. I'll tell you what, it's a bit tight in this pussy. Eh? It really is. These corners and roads and such. Yeah, this looks like a spot. Wicked. <sighs> Don't want to get too close to the edge. It's um, quite a drop there. Make sure I've got my handbrake on. Don't leave it in gear. Oh my days. Ah. Well, i got to say it. I'm as chuffed as a chuffing chuffer. Both of us inside pussy. Eh? Two of us in a pussy. That's just madness. Never in my life have I entered wholly into pussy. And with that, that will be the last innuendo for this moment. <laughs> it is a quaint looking village though, isn't it? Yeah, another amazing alpine mountain village. And they all look stunning. I love them to bits. And from here, we're gonna be heading up to some big ones, up to teens or maybe Valder's there, or wherever we can park up. It's about an hour's drive from here, and we've got about eight or 10 car camping spots to try and scope out. In all honesty, Teens doesn't look like it's a go in terms of car camping. Just don't look like they want you there. So we may end up before it, or in Valder's there, or wherever we end up. Let's hope we've got some snow for tomorrow. Nath drove a long way, man, to get on the slopes. It's March 12 today. It's about 15 degrees. Fingers crossed. Oh, wow. Final stint, 20 minutes to go. And the views are looking pretty damn good with them steep old mountains covered in snow. It's not getting colder yet, but I've still got my fingers crossed. Val de Zaire, mate. Where we're heading. Wow. I can't believe it. What a place. Legendary. And teens. Ah. This is mad. Look at the state of the area as well. So cool. All the towns we've drove through look like these with these big wooden apartments and such. I love the style. 
so nice all my days look how big that looks bet Nate's pooing himself how wicked well here's a the spot then we're not actually at teens yet but we're at a resort before teens and weirdly the gondola over here says teens it does go all the way up the mountain and to be honest we've kind of found a bit of an okay spot it's on the edge of the village and yeah somebody's parked here already this could definitely be a goer for the night and you could park here for free the car park over the way you've got to pay to park so i don't know we might end up getting moved on or ticketed but i think what we'll do we're going to drive up to actual teens about five clicks up the way and see what's up there let's go and have a look man we're getting closer to the mountain oh my days look at this place this is picture postcard all day long what an amazing spot 2100 meters oh my goodness and this is the height of the village wow This could be pretty sweet. We may have found uh, the only free parking inside teens. Could be wrong. But it looks a spot for it. Let me show you the surroundings. Oh my days. <sighs> Not sure what that is over there, but uh, teens is right down the way. Ski lift is right there. And the valley for snowboarding is all around. What a spot, mate. I think this is just for the night. We're set. Bloody hell. Snow right above us as well. Should be right with Avalanche. His house is in the way, so. Right, I think we're going to have a little wander around and see what Teams is all about. I've got to say it. What about Nath? This is sick. Yeah, bro. This is the most amount of snow I've seen, really, since I started this trip. And it's all in the village. I mean, I've never seen this much snow in the village on this trip. This is amazing. And the playground's right here, man. This has got to be a lake because it's untouched, no one's gone on it. Yeah. See if it is. Oh my days, check this thing out. I've seen some wood carvings in my time, but blimey, that's pretty damn impressive. So detailed. Wow. What a cool little thing in your garden. I wonder if the guy made it himself or he's bought it from somewhere. I can't get over this area. This is amazing. This is fantastic. This is the start of part two of the trip for real. Really. From here on in, we're going to be hitting resorts and moving around and exploring. Pretty cool. We did the Sham Valley justice. Now I'm going to try and do the rest of the Alps justice. No way, this place is cool. There's so much snow in the village, you can actually do stuff with it. We've got a little snow maze over there. And down here, they've got a load of igloos. Look at this dude. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh man <sighs> can go in as well oh, I'm going to get wet and cold damn it oh. <laughs> easy oh wicked man proper little tunnels into other igloos this is well cool and you can stand up in it as well <laughs> I don't know if it would be warm in here in the night this place is just getting more mental by the second check it out you got a travelator Coming up through the village in the snow. How mad is that? Oh, I want to try that tomorrow, man. Dude, lifts everywhere as well. One over here, main gondola here, and hopefully, ticket station here. I'm reckoning 70 euros, maybe 75. Let's find out. Oh, well, this is all damn fine. We've got automated machines to get our tickets for tomorrow. I think it's going to give me a little lift card thing as well, so yeah. Let's see if we can make it happen. I don't know what's happening. Oh, 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 oh my God. I've got a ticket. Oh, 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 I can't stop saying it. This place is getting better and better. We've got a little night market going on. The first stall just sells pure cheese. We've got fondue in the fridge. We don't need more cheese. Keep moving. What is this? It's that's a mm. nougat. Oh my god. What's that one? Oh, that's nice, dude. That's like a strawberry nougat. 
Oh my days, it's so good. Oh my days. Wow. Mate. How much is that? <laughs> it's a little bit expensive for me, I think. 20 euros for one bag. Wow, what it is, amazing. There's no way I'm going to pay 20 euro for one bag of nugget. Mental. Now he's cursing me, listen to him. Okay, merci beaucoup. He's pissed. Are you noticing a bit of tension there? He wanted to push us on. He's fucking way pissed off, dude. You're not buying for me for <laughs> 20 euro for a bag of sweets, man. What planet is he on? We're in teens, mate. We're Damn in teens. Man. I don't care. Ten pound a point round here. Could be on moon, ain't paying what, that sort of price. I just got my yeah, teens Ah. Uh, oh, second hand socks. I don't know. They look it. <laughs> they have got some wet. I don't even want to look at anything now, man. It's like it's just a million pounds for everything. Window shopping. This is mad. You're window shopping. Window shopping. I feel like I can't afford to window. I don't know. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever been to a night market and there's things here like, well, legit can't afford, man. Bread and stuff. 12 euro for a slice. I don't know, it might be. <laughs> 12 euro for a slice. I wish I'd sell a wine. Go get your loaf, we'll get on a market store, man. We'll make a fucking killing around here, bro. We could set a little store up. Did you bring the actual bread cooker with you? Oh, oh, you've got a cheese toast there. Is it oven? Is it oven on Dude, you? I've got a little table. We get the table, we bring the cheese toast down. We'll make a killing, mate. We'll pay for the ski pass for tomorrow. We're going on. Ah, oh, nice. Check it out. Just treat myself. Found something good I could actually afford. 29 euros for some shades. I've wanted these for weeks, man. Been getting snow blindness, blotches as I'm walking and hiking around in the snow. But check it out. They're only cheap because these are the junior ones. <laughs> like the kids' classes. And they fit, man. They don't look great. I look like Arnie, but hey, at least they protect the eyes. I'm going to say it again. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. This is an official run through the village. Oh, my days, some dude just nearly knocked me down on skis, man. We shouldn't be walking this. This is a run, dude. We're going to get beaten up or something. We're going to get skied out. Wow. I've always wanted to ski through a village like this at some point before we leave. I'm bringing my snowboard on this run. <sighs> Through the village. Ah, <laughs> oh, back at the crib. Time for a bit of evening chilling. I've already got the curtains and the snowboard in the front and I'm just slowly setting up the back. And I've got to be honest, there's not going to be much of a cooking session on this one because Nathan's doing us proud, mate. He's already got rice going. And then what have we got? A hot pot of sorts. Yeah, a vegetable uh, stewish sort of thing with rice. Yes, mate. Burgers tomorrow night. I'll be burning those, but honestly, for tonight, we're gonna just eat up, maybe chill out with a movie or a bit of football, whatever I can find, and then get an early start on the mountain tomorrow. We've heard first lift is at nine o'clock, so I'd like to be there about quarter. Ah, uh, I couldn't sign off for the night without showing you the feast of the feed. What an absolute feast of a meal this looks. Oh my days. He does cook good food. A little bit spicy, but really good. And now I am gonna catch you in the morning. Well, morning, and welcome to the top of the mountain, mate. This place is looking fantastic. Just come up on the main gondola. I've got a clue where we're gonna go. There's 101 runs, or actually 159 runs to do up here, and 300 kilometers a piece. Yeah, forget Chamonix, we have 50 kilometers on each resort and a bus between each one. We've got 300 kilometers of link piece up here and it should be absolutely mental. Let's go hit some runs, shall we, and have a look around. Woo! Nathan in the pile. Yeah, boss. Following you, mate. Oh yeah, not bad conditions, gotta say it, pretty sweet. Stage through a tunnel, baby. Yeah, what a run, amazing, yes. What a run, this thing's massive. One run. Probably done as much in one run as I do a whole day in Scotland. Wow. Oh my days. Ooh -wee. 
Not a bad first one, buddy. Right. Oh, wow. Check it out. We skied all the way down to Val Air, man. This is it. Val Air. The infamous. Doesn't look as good as uh, where we are in teens, but hey-ho. Let's get on the gondola and find some more runs. Oh, check it out. A funicular railway, man, on the train. They have got some really cool things around here. So we're just like touring the mountains, trying to find all of them. But yeah, this one should take us right to the top to a place called Mont Blanc. Let's see if we can procure a decent spot on this little train thing, man. Good day, good day. This is pretty mad. It's all on a big slant. I guess it's because it's going up the mountain, eh? Keeps it flat. Pretty cool. I like this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Found something else cool. Little tunnel, huh? <laughs> Yo! Oh, this thing's cool. Ah, bottom of the mountain, back down in Val d'Azer then, and we just stopped for a little pit stop. Check these guys out behind me. With like the, uh, they're not a parachute, but they're like a wing that they, speed, speed wing, is that what it is? Yeah. There you go, they're a speed wing. We come down the mountain on the skis with them. Loads of them, they just keep coming one after another. There's another one coming in. Blessed. Wow, dude's coming in with some speed, mate. Ooh -wee. Right, I think, we're going to try and head up and see if we can find the snow park. Should be interesting. Oh no, the snow park yet. But we're skiing through the village, baby. Look at this, man. This is amazing. I've never done this in my life. Skiing through the village on a really slow blue run. But hey ho, pretty cool. This is mad. Ooh, where's the bar? Really should have tied my bindings up. Just put them on dead loose. Or oh, didn't think it'd go this far. This is amazing. Wow. All right, we're at the top of the mountain and we found the sign for the Jupati Snow Park. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It is Jupati. But, uh, oh God, we got to find the damn thing now. I think we have to have some marmots. This place is insane. It's just 300 bloody kilometers. We could get lost up here for days, man. I think we're in the right direction though. Well, we found the snow park. Rails, little kickers, big jumps on the right. Ah, oh, this is a legend. And it goes all the way down and Carl's right so much. Down for the kickers. Look at the size of these beasts. Mediums in the middle. Might hit those tomorrow. And little fun kickers for starting on the left. So cool. Such a great park, they are big. Even the medium's big, look at that. Woof, damn. Let's hit these things. Four of these. Number two, little grab. And again, yo. With a backside grab. Oh no, just went for a little hop. Nice. It's a great park. It needs a lot more running. Well, it's been an epic day on the mountain. I can't deny. We just got back to the car. And yeah, it started snowing up there. So I kind of left a little bit early. And um, we've had a little bit of a visit. <laughs> Apparently we're not allowed to park here tonight. So um, yeah, we're going to get out of here, I think. And see if we can find somewhere else to park up for the night. So yeah, it's been a good day on the mountain. Now it's going to be a mission looking for somewhere to stay for the night. Let's go. I'm not going to lie, this is a bit of a chuffing nightmare having to do this now. Looking around for spots at night. Got it. There isn't many either. We're going to have a little look at one on the backside of Teens at the end of some road. And if that looks all right, great. And if not, we want to be near a ski lift. So, yeah, if not, I think we'll bail back down to the one that we found yesterday afternoon see what happens my days what a nightmare trying to find this place coming through bloody teens oh my god somewhere on the left here apparently uh, it's not looking great maybe this is it uh, i think this might be it it might be a little bit further down uh, 
Yeah, I think this might be it. These slopey spots here. Well, I've got to say, this is a bit bloody ridiculous, to be fair. I mean, we were in a perfectly good spot. No problem. Out of the way, out of town, not bothering anyone. And now we're looking like we're going to have to, like, bag a little parking spot next to some apartments in the middle of town. I, I'm not impressed. They use the excuse that it's avalanche territory, but it's not. They just want people to move. It's teens, and they don't want van lifers here, to be fair. So, tough. We're here. Mwah. Oh. I'm just having a little wander up. This was, I think, what park for nights they could park at. Kind of a lay-by, but with all the snow here, it's almost on the road. I think if we're going to bag a spot around here, and with that sign, yeah, we'll bag the one in front of the apartments. Well, there's the view for the night. Oh, we've got the mountain out the back. That's pretty sweet. I'll tell you what, there's more bloody chance of that thing avalanching than where we were parked early, but hey ho, it is what it is. I'm going to chill out, chow down, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hopefully, we no bother. I'll let you know how it went. Uh, morning. Well, it was a good night's sleep. We got no bother from anybody. It was a bit random. I could hear people walking by and talking all night long, but we might have a bit of a different problem this morning. <sighs> um, looks like it snowed a little bit last night. But the car's absolutely dumped, mate. Oh my days. I don't think Nathan's seen it yet. Oh, damn it, it's pretty deep as well. No way. But that's fun on the mountain and a problem I'm going to have to deal with later for now. I think this is going to be the best point to end the episode. Up in a pretty amazing spot in the French Alps. If you enjoyed it, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know, you know, take it easy. Enjoy the camp. Pray I can dig my way out and stay stealthy.